Greenbeard is not having the Cremor Lager today, as has been done a couple times now, I believe, since he got the glasses. But um, he's kind of having a Cremor Lager today. Thank you very much, Jeff, for the awesome glass. Be going down, people of the world! Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch! Welcome back to another Daily Drink vlog for the beer of the today! We have got a bottle of unfiltered Keller beer by Cremor Springs Brewery Limited. Oh, yes. This is only, I believe, my second ever Keller beer. The first was sent to me by Grand Granville Island Brewing. Sorry, I was gonna say Grand River because I had that beer yesterday. It's in my head, but no, it's uh. And this is this is apparently an unfiltered lager, so I'm kind of having a lager. I like the first Keller beer. Really hoping to like this Keller beer as well. Let's crack her open. Actually, remember to put it where it belongs today. Let's see what we've got. Now, I have no idea if this is actually going to fit in there, but it is definitely a bigger glass than, you know, the, the normal size pint glass that I have for these, for this brewery. I don't know. It might not all fit in here still, though. No, it's not going to. It's going to be close. Okay, you can't see it there. I'm holding up on the wrong side. I didn't realize the label was like that. Yeah, see? Most of it. But not all. Definitely got a cloudy look to it, for sure. Not even chill haze on there or anything. Just, just, just cloudy beer, cloudy beer. And it kind of sucks that I'm right-handed because when I grab it by the handle, the logo is no longer there. But hey, it's still there, regardless. I don't really know what to describe that smell as. It's, it's not a strong smell at all. I'm really not sure. Let's give her a shot. That's not bad. It's got some nice maltiness to it. The initial flavor is a little bit unusual. But the multi character is, is really nice. This could be a good one. Fingers crossed. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, the, that initial flavor is reminiscent of something that I have had before, but I am unable to recall that memory. My taste memory isn't great. It was like sight memory, which, you know, you see something, you know what it is. Smell memory, taste memory. I think it's called taste recall and smell recall, actually. My taste recall is not great, apparently, and I apologize for that, but this overall flavor profile is it's pretty good I gotta say I'm not I'm not disliking this I know that initial flavor but I cannot place it it's kind of annoying Oh, I didn't notice that. I read the top part of this. It's like right underneath it. it tells you the proper glass. Traditionist, traditionalist would serve this in an earthenware mug. I don't have an earthenware mug. And if I did, you wouldn't be able to see it. This is the closest thing I've got, really, I guess. And it's got the Cremor logo. I'm, I'm trying to give you a little bit of a shout out, Cremor. Come on. Keller Bear is an unfiltered German lager with a naturally cloudy appearance. Ours is wonderfully aromatic with a hint of citrus and spice imparted by German whole leaf hops. And that is all that it says. 
date. And light. No date. And no ingredients. Slightly unimpressed by that cream oil. I believe I can get the rest of this into there now, at least. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Is that unfilled? Is that like... I'm not seeing any sediment, but at that last pour, I thought maybe I saw a chunk. Chunks are scary. I get absolutely zero citrus flavor. None. But it is. It is a pretty good beer. I cannot deny that. I don't know if the Granville Island Keller beer I had a while ago. Cat hair from hell. It was a while ago. So I can't really recall what that was like to really do an accurate comparison to say which is better. This, this one is, is pretty good. <sighs> pretty good indeed. On this date in 1933, Germany withdrew from the League of Nations. Can't imagine why. You know, 33. Gotta get that build up to World War II and kill everybody and make the whole world the... The Aryan white race, the pure race, because Hitler was a fucking crazy person. In 1954, the first ascent of Cho Oyu occurred. That is the, damn it, I remembered it and then I forgot it, and it's not even on the page right now, sorry. It is the sixth highest mountain in the world at 8,188 meters. It is one of the 8,000ers. There's... A certain, there's a number of mountains in the world that are over 8,000 meters tall. They're all in the death zone, as it's called, because you basically... Some people have done it without supplemental oxygen, but supplemental oxygen is helpful because once you get past that certain height, it's not easy to breathe, from what I've seen on TV and documentaries. I never experienced it myself <laughs> at all. I think the highest above... Sea level I've ever been. I've been in a plane, but they don't depressurize the cabin and let you experience, you know, high altitude in all its not glory. I've probably been a few, maybe like a thousand meters above sea level, maybe at one point in my life and not even known it. It's like that's like the absolute highest estimate. Regardless, rambling, drink. Yeah, the multi character in this beer is really, really nice. That kind of lingery, caramel, toasty, just, it's, it's really nice. The initial flavor is kind of weird. Not bad, not great. I don't know if I'd even, it's, I'd say it's good. It's, 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 it's good. I'll give it the good. Yeah. It's nice. And then, the... It's a really nicely balanced beer. Yeah, it's... It's a unfiltered lager. Whatever. Did I even say what's the, uh... It's 5%, so it's regular lager alcohol content level so nothing different really there just i don't know if this is creamore's normal lager beer just unfiltered and it gives it this character and everything but i like this on this date in 1960 the u.s imposed a near total trade embargo against cuba 
pretty much, I'm pretty sure, due to the fact that they were letting Russia set up nuclear missile silos on the island. I'm like 99% sure that's why they did that. They finally lifted it though in 2015 last year, so it only lasted, was that 40, 50, 55 years? That's, yeah. Good on ya. It's funny actually because the whole time that the U.S. had this trade embargo going on with Cuba, Canada didn't. So, like, in the States, Cuban cigars were full-on illegal for all that time. But in Canada, you get Cuban cigars. My dad, he used to go to vac- he went to vac- on vacation to Cuba several times. And one time brought me back a box of cigars, which I then brought to my high school. I think I was, like, 16, 17 when he bought me those cigars. And I sold them to a bunch of my friends for like 20 bucks a cigar. <laughs> I wasn't gonna, I, I think I may, I, I smoked like half of one, maybe. It was not a pleasant experience. I'm not a smoker, smoker. It's, I've tried it and it, I don't recommend it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good times. It's a great beer. It really is. The multi flavor that just it sticks to your tongue kinda. It just stays there. But it's nice. It's a nice beer. You've done a pretty good job with this beer, Fremore. I have to admit. Even though there's no ingredients, no date, which is pretty disappointing. It's 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 a really overall good good beer. Like if you're a lager drinker and you're used to like the five percent alcohol beers, which there are many of the mainstream beers out there that are five percent, and you're looking for something a little bit more flavorful, something with a little bit more kick to it. Give that a go, because, yeah, it's good. Look at that nice lacing, too. All the way down that massive, massive, fancy Cremor Stein-ish thing. I don't know. I like it. Drink number is the last. Well done, Cremor. That's all I can really say. So, Cremor Springs, your Keller beer rating. Overall, I have to give it a 7. It would have been a 9, but no date and no ingredients. Pretty unimpressive in that regard. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Not gonna lie, I am actually really kind of excited for the beer of tomorrow. If you've been looking at the lineup of beers and stuff you know what's to come it's it's in a box and i haven't opened the box i don't, I don't even know what it looks like it's it's gonna be cool